What is Elasticsearch? Even the most experienced developers struggle to answer this question. At Cubox, we've spent years explaining what it is and what it does. In this video, we're going to introduce you to Elasticsearch and show you how it's being used today. Let's dive into the essentials. Elasticsearch is an open source, broadly distributable, readily scalable enterprise grade search engine. It can power extremely fast searches that support your data discovery applications. As a beginner, it's easy to get started with Elasticsearch because it works right out of the box. It ships with sensible defaults and hides complex search and distribution mechanics from beginners. Let's get into how you can use it. Elasticsearch offers fast, incisive search against large volumes of data. Queries that would take over 10 seconds using SQL can return results in 10 milliseconds with Elasticsearch. Conventional SQL database management systems aren't really designed for full text searches, and they certainly don't perform well against loosely structured raw data that resides outside the database. Thanks to its distributed nature and full text searches, Elasticsearch is a powerful tool used to centralize, analyze, and visualize logs. This makes Elasticsearch and other supporting tools like Kibana, Logstash, and Beats a preferred enterprise choice for infrastructure monitoring. Elasticsearch provides with Query DSL a simple JSON-style domain-specific language that enables users to execute Elasticsearch queries. A query examines one or many target values and scores each of the elements in the results according to how closely they match the query's focus. The query operators allow you to optimize simple or complex queries in just a few milliseconds. Elasticsearch offers the flexibility of creating your own index mappings, which allows structuring your data in any way you prefer. During indexing, Elasticsearch converts raw data such as log files or message files into internal documents and stores them in a basic data structure similar to a JSON object. Each document is a simple set of correlating keys and values. The keys are strings and the values are one of numerous data types such as strings, numbers, dates, or lists. Adding documents to Elasticsearch is simple and easy to automate. Do an HTTP post or put that transmits your document as a simple JSON object. Searches are also done with JSON. Send your query in an HTTP GET with a JSON body. The RESTful API makes it easy to retrieve, submit, and verify data directly from a command line. Even if they are developing with a client such as Python or Ruby, many developers use the curl tool for debugging and developing with Elasticsearch. It's important to remember that Elasticsearch isn't a relational database, so DBMS concepts won't apply. The most important concept that you must set aside when coming over from conventional databases is normalization. Native Elasticsearch doesn't permit joins or subqueries, so denormalizing your data is essential. Elasticsearch typically stores a document once for each repository. Full text searches will be extremely fast because the documents are stored in close proximity to the corresponding metadata in the index. This design greatly reduces the number of data reads, and Elasticsearch limits the index growth rate by keeping it compressed. Elasticsearch has an elaborate distributed architecture that allows scaling up clusters to thousands of servers and accommodating petabytes of data. The platform ensures fast searches and high availability in large clusters by partitioning indexes into shards and replicating them across the cluster. Add to that the simplicity of attaching new nodes and recovering shards from losses, and you get a bulletproof solution for enterprise-grade search. We hope this was a helpful introduction to Elasticsearch. If you're interested in learning more, you can visit our blog at qbox.io slash blog, where you'll find a wealth of information and tutorials on Elasticsearch. Thanks for joining us.